Hi guys, today I want to share a farmer's cheese recipe with you. It's so easy. Continue watching just to see how easy it is. To that we're going to need one gallon of whole milk or use organic for best. And we're going to need some buttermilk, which is half a gallon. So we are just going to leave this overnight so it becomes room temperature. So I like to work on this in the daytime. If you want to work on this before bed, then leave it you know room temperature for the whole day so choose the time when you want to do it um so combine the buttermilk and the milk together and kind of stir to get it mixed up together and then we're going to put it on the stove uh, to heat it up so we want to heat it up slowly so we're going to turn on low for about 40 minutes until it heats up to like hot so that's what we're looking for. As you can see, it's all milky right now. And then after 40 minutes, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's kind of like yogurt kind of style, I guess. And so now we're going to remove from the stove, cover, and put somewhere warm uh, or not, you know, like in your room or something where it's uh, warm. And um, so, and we're going to leave that for 24 hours which is the next day exact same time put it back on the stove and we're going to heat it up again for about another 40 minutes and as you can see how it thickened overnight so that's how it looks now we're going to heat it again just like we did on the first day so first day heat up 40 minutes on low second day same time do the same exact thing and this is the third day after another 24 hours. This is the third day and it's separated completely. So now all we're gonna do is heat it up again the third time for 40 minutes and then we're gonna put it through a sieve or cheesecloth too. So that's how it looks. As you can see it's separated from the water. So that's what looks great and this is how it looks after I've heated up. So now let's go ahead and drain everything how it's supposed to be. And that's how I put, you know, the cheesecloth uh, over a strainer and a bowl to collect the water. So that's how I have it. And that's how I placed it in there. And now we're just going to, there's different ways you can do this faster. You can tie this and just hang it. So all the water can be just dripping, you know, tie it somehow. As you can see, the water is just going down. Or the best way, what I like to do is just kind of tie this and put it, you know, through a sieve. And push it down with a plate and put something heavy so it pushes out. And it works really nice. So, like, I don't need to do anything fancy or... Um, so, yeah, that's how I do it. And it... it the longer it stays, the more drier it's going to be. So check up onto your liking. That's how it looks to me. I like it a little more, you know, moister. So if you want more drier, keep it in overnight and it'll be super dry. And that's how it looks. Easy farmer's cheese. Go in the kitchen and go do it. I'm telling you, you guys are going to have wonderful, fresh, homemade farmer's cheese. Nothing compared to the store. I hope you guys enjoyed spending time with me. Please like and subscribe. Till next time.